Hey everyone, Anthony again. From beetles that can support almost 850 times their weight to a killer that turns the inside of its prey into a liquid mash. Here are nine of the weirdest bugs in the world. Number nine, assassin bug. Assassin bugs have long straw-like beaks that they use to stab their prey into the grave. When they're not stabbing their opponents with it, they keep their beak hidden beneath their bodies. But they are passively waiting for something to fly by. They're jumping from plant to plant hunting for any insect that gives them a nasty look. Once they catch their prey, it's pretty much game over. They're strong enough to hold most of their prey with their front legs, and while they keep them restrained, assassin bugs stab their sorry prey repeatedly with their beaks and insert it into their bodies. But it doesn't stop there. They inject their prey with a dose of toxic venom, which then turns their prey's inside into a liquid mush. Then, they suck it out with their beaks and move on to their next victim. See why they're named the uh, assassin bug now? They can lift the tip of their abdomen as if their butt were in the air to warn you that they can hurt you. That posture is used by a lot of insects that sting when they are under threat. So if you ever come across that insect, remember that it will be warning you not to mess with it. There are many places in North America where you can find assassin bugs and sometimes they even travel in packs. And while they are terrifying, they're actually pretty good at keeping garden insect populations under control. But it's still creepy to think about their ruthless methods to obtaining and killing their prey. Number 8. Coletta Silk Moth Caterpillar Coletta Silk Moth butterflies are beautiful, but their caterpillars are some of the most exotic and distinctively colored caterpillars in the world. Just take a look at the Coletta Silk Moth Caterpillar. Its body is a beautiful shade of bluish green, but that's certainly not its most notable feature. Rather, your eyes are drawn to the blue and black spikes that pattern its body. While beautiful, they definitely don't look safe to touch. If that's what you thought, then you'd be right. And that's what many of its potential predators think as well. Not only are these spiky parts of the caterpillar's body poisonous, but when they're touched, they separate from its body and stick into yours. This is a natural defense mechanism that this caterpillar has to fend off those that would have it as a snack. The reason that they're so brightly colored is precisely because of this poison coursing through their veins. When these caterpillars become butterflies, they give up their colorful past and become a starkly covered but equally gorgeous black and white butterfly. You can spot these butterflies and caterpillars in the southwest regions of the United States and Mexico. Have you ever seen these caterpillars before? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 7. Red Palm Weevil From up close, the red palm weevil might look like he's going into a boxing match, but these odd-looking bugs are actually fighting a much bigger kind of fight. These weevils lay larvae inside of trees, and these can leave holes around 3 feet long. In many cases, the plants cannot survive this kind of damage, and when you multiply that damage by the number of them having kids, it's no wonder that the red palm weevil is considered such a big pest. How do these weevils inflict their damage? Well, females will lay eggs inside the soft tissue of date plants, palm trees, and coconut trees. Many of these trees grow on palm plantations. The larvae that hatch within the space will burrow deep into the plants, where the females can then lay more eggs. After enough iterations of this process, the plant is so damaged that it eventually dies. On a large scale, this can cost a ton of money. For one thing, you have to get rid of all the plants that the red palm weevil killed, and then you have to replace all of those, and then you have to make sure that the other damaged trees are cured. It's really just a giant mess. Thankfully, there are methods for dealing with these boxing bugs, but folks should be on the lookout so that they can prevent their spread. Number 6. Filbo Weevil Filbo weevils are tiny pests with strangely long noses. Maybe they've been lying a lot like Pinocchio and their noses have just kept getting bigger and bigger. Seriously, this thing looks like it makes up most of the Filbo weevil's body. These big feeder noses come in handy when they want to eat their preferred snacks, acorns. These weevils are noted as big pests because they can cause a serious amount of damage to oak trees and their acorns. In fact, not only do filbert weevils eat acorns, but they also lay their eggs inside of them as well. In particular, they look for acorns that are still in early developmental stages and lay most of their eggs in them. When these eggs hatch, 
The larvae survive on the kernel until they're big enough to burrow outside, eating what they dig along the way, and making their own path in the world. Of course, this causes a lot of damage to the acorns, and many of them fall to the ground and die before they even get a chance to fully grow. Because of these factors, many people try to stay on the lookout for filbert weevils, but it can be hard to spot them because they're so small. Number 5. Australian Walking Stick Australian walking sticks are well named because they look like, well, walking sticks, and they come from Australia. The shapes of their bodies might remind you a lot of a praying mantis, but they aren't a part of the same family, strangely enough. One of the most notable features that the Australian walking sticks have are their curved tails, which is an evolutionary adaptation that these walking sticks develop to look like a tree branch or a leaf. These insects are also pretty large, and they can grow up to 8 inches long, although the females tend to be bigger than the males. The males are skinny and have wings, while the females have thicker bodies and fake wings that cannot fly. These walking sticks mostly feed on eucalyptus leaves, and because of that, they also tend to live in eucalyptus trees. By that logic, I should live inside of a pizza place. Australian walking sticks are also known for shedding its skin as it gets bigger, and sometimes, they'll even eat their leftover skins. Because of their size and centralized locations, they're often hunted by birds and reptiles, but their camouflaged bodies make them able to conceal themselves among the leaves of the eucalyptus trees. Did you know that its Latin name, and I'm going to give this my best shot here, Pseudophosmitidae, means ghost? This is a tribute to its excellent camouflage skills. Number 4. Brazilian Treehopper The Brazilian treehopper has perhaps the most peculiar set of headgear among any insect in the animal kingdom. Take a look. A stalk-like appendage emerges from the top of their heads, and out of this stalk there are four hairy orbs that always hang over this treehopper's head like an umbrella. If you're looking for a good Halloween costume this year, then this insect's crown is sure to scare everyone you encounter. This array of orbs atop the Brazilian treehopper's head is in general referred to as a pronotum, a kind of structure shared by many insects. And scientists have had some trouble determining what its purpose could be. It can't be something that might show off to one another because both males and females have this pronotum, and it probably doesn't have anything to do with their psyching out their predators because it doesn't seem like these predators are phased by it. Scientists now think that their pronotum evolved so as to look similar to the buds of the fungus known as Ophicordyceps unilateralis. This fungus is highly poisonous. When ants eat them, its buds tear straight through their bodies and create similar orb-like structures. Naturally, predators don't want to eat this, so the Brazilian treehopper remains alive. Number 3. Scorpion Fly It's a bird. It's a fly. It's a scorpion. You wouldn't think it could be possible, but the scorpion fly is a fly with a strange appendage on its body that looks a lot like a scorpion stinger. Thankfully, this is not actually a stinger at all, but rather a part of this fly's reproduction apparatus. But that doesn't make the prospect of being chased by a flying scorpion any less terrifying, especially when you consider just how much this scorpion fly's reproduction organs looks like a stinger. It even has a pointed bulge at its end that looks just like the pointed end of a stinger, but it won't harm you at all. Male scorpion flies use this organ to fertilize female eggs after their ornate courting process. In fact, females don't have the pointed bulge at the end of their stingers at all. However, don't mistake that for a lack of strength. Mating can be dangerous game for the male, who could easily be killed by the female. It's for this reason that he'll give her a dead insect, a real feast for these insects. What would you think if your suitor gave you this as a gift? <laughs> there are a ton of these around in the world, so keep an eye out. Number 2. Giant Burrowing Cockroach The giant burrowing cockroach is, well, gigantic. In fact, it can weigh nearly 35 grams, which is about the same size as a golf ball. In addition, they can grow up to 8 centimeters long. In terms of mass, that makes this cockroach the biggest one in the world. It should come as no surprise that this giant lives mostly in Queensland, Australia. It seems like every comically huge animal lives there. However, these cockroaches aren't pests like the many other cockroaches you know. They don't have wings, so they're not flying around bugging you. In fact, they're a pretty integral part of Queensland's ecosystem. Oftentimes, they'll burrow underground about three feet deep 
and collect dry leaves and other organic matter, which they eat and recycle back into the world. They're the only cockroaches in the world who can call one burrow their home for their entire lives. They're pretty forceful, however, often fighting with other males, sending them tumbling around. They're also known for a distinctive hissing sound that they make during fights and mating. However, they can't hurt humans. Because of this, they make very popular pets. They're not hard to take care of and they move really slowly because they're a large size. An interesting fact is that they can live between 10 and 14 years, which is a long time for a bug. Would you like to have a giant burrowing cockroach as a pet? Leave in your comments below. Number 1. Hercules Beetle Hercules beetles are some of the biggest beetles in the world, but they're perhaps best known for their insane strength. Some scientists have reported that the Hercules beetle is capable of lifting around 850 times its body weight. If humans could lift 850 times our own weight, we'd be able to lift things at the order of around 150,000 pounds. They can grow to be around 7 inches long and even their larva can weigh over 100 grams. These beetles are also equipped with a large pair of horns at the top of their heads. Given that they are a subspecies of rhino beetles, that makes sense. In fact, these horns tend to make up for around a third of a Hercules beetle's body length, but can grow to be even longer than the beetle itself. These horns come in handy during mating season, when males try to fight off other males in order to mate. During these fights, the males often try to grab their opponents with their horns and throw them. These fights can lead to serious damage, even for the females. They're very visible, so they stay safe by going out only at night and hiding behind plants. Crazily enough, these beetles are pretty popular pets in Asia, even though they can be pricey and they only live to be a few months old. The horns are dangerous in battle, but not to humans, so you can hold one in your hand if you're brave. Even if you aren't from Japan, you probably know that these beetles are considered good luck charms and symbols of strength. Thanks for watching. What do you think is the weirdest bug and why? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for more like this. See you next time.